we're going to be doing part one of our two-part high-rise series. Today is going to be specifically for the driver operators. A few things to consider when we're pulling up to a high-rise fire is we want to always be parked at the standpipe. Whether we're coming for a building fire, appliance fire, building investigation, or even a fire alarm, we're going to make sure we're being proactive and not reactive. The last thing we want to have to do is readjust and reposition the apparatus after we find out, oh, there's smoke on the third floor, there's smoke on the first floor, whatever the case may be. We want to make sure that we're just going right to the standpipe right away. That way we're not screwing around with that when it comes to later in the game. So Jack's going to be our driver, so what we're going to do is we're going to run through real quick and our driver's going to be going right to the standpipe. So we're going to simulate Jack gets out of the truck, our crew's going inside, the truck's already in pump gear ready to go. So Jack's going to hop up and he's going to start getting ready to get hooked up to the standpipe. So first thing he's going to do is he's going to get his discharges ready to go, so he's going to un uncap those. He's going to take the 50 foot section of 3 inch that we have right in the tray. He's going to connect it on up. Just gonna flake right out. Get as far as he can get with it. Realizes he's gonna need another length to get to the standpipe, so he's gonna run over to his compartment and grab that other length of three inch. He's gonna roll that out and he's gonna head over to the standpipe. Gonna unscrew the caps on the standpipe now, so this way he's gonna pick connect right in. Sometimes these caps are a pain to get off, so you might have to run back to the truck, get a halogen bar just to make sure they pop off. Some of the caps are like iron or whatever they have the uh, whatever the rest of it's made out of. Some of them are made out of plastic, and you can just bang them right off. So he's hooked up and ready to go. So at this point, he's gonna work his way back to the truck. He's gonna start working on his water supply. So he's already got it figured out in his head what he wants to do for his water supply. He's right by the standpipe or, or a correction. He's right by the hydrant already, so he already knows what he wants to do. So the reason Jack's working on his water supply now is because you can still feed the standpipe with one section of three inch. You don't need two as long as you're getting some water in there. So he's using his short shot podium length and he's going right into his side intake here. One thing for the drivers to remember is you're not gonna be charging the standpipe until the crew upstairs asks for it to be charged. So now he's ready to go. He's got his water supply established. He's already got a line to the standpipe. At this point, he's gonna start working on getting that second line to the other standpipe. At any point when the crew calls for water, if you already have a line, to, hooked up to the standpipe, you can send it or you get that other line, that second line hooked up. If they're not ready to go yet, then you have all, both ready to go. Make, keep in mind that this is gonna be our operation. We wanna make sure we have an easier shot to the hydrant than we do the, the standpipe. Three inch is a lot easier to move than five inch. You guys have any questions, you can always ask an officer.